I'm a physicist. We live and die with the data. We go where the data goes. Voyager 1, the furthest traveled human-made object, has once again stunned the scientific community. After decades drifting through the vast silence of interstellar space, the ancient spacecraft recently transmitted a data stream so unusual, so mathematically precise, and so structurally consistent that it ignited immediate interest across scientific fields. What began as a subtle anomaly in the signal quickly escalated into an urgent investigation. The patterns bore none of the hallmarks of natural astrophysics phenomena. Instead, they hinted at something deliberate, something intelligent. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The moment Michio Kaku stepped forward to share the findings, the world held its breath. As a theoretical physicist known for interpreting cosmic phenomena with clarity and wonder, Kaku doesn't speak lightly. His announcement made it unmistakable. Artificial intelligence systems tasked with deciphering the data had identified an unmistakable pattern. Voyager 1, journeying through the uncharted darkness beyond the heliosphere, had encountered something. And not just space dust or a rogue particle wave, something structured. Something that exhibited signs of technological sophistication, far surpassing anything expected in in that region of space. The implications of the encounter rippled through the scientific world with a rare and uncontrollable urgency. AI systems, originally designed to parse cosmic background noise and relay telemetry data, had spent weeks analyzing the returned information. What they found changed everything. The message wasn't random. It possessed order, repeating sequences, nested logic, and recursive signals layered within higher bandwidth echoes. None of it resembled background radiation, pulsar emissions, or any known Known astrophysical process. It was a broadcast, but not from Earth. As AI parsed further into the transmission, it began to identify fractal-like structures embedded in signal intervals, encoded in a form of hyper-dimensional logic. These weren't mere pulses, they were carriers of ideas, information embedded in frameworks that required AI cognition to even begin decoding. Every signal fragment carried mathematical blueprints, perhaps diagrams or even ideograms representing concepts foreign to human understanding, but clearly clearly constructed with intent. The location of Voyager 1 at the time of the encounter added another layer of intrigue. It was drifting near a boundary zone thought to be a relatively empty stretch of interstellar medium, free of stars or debris. Nothing in previous maps indicated the presence of any structure or planetary system. And yet, the AI's reconstruction of the trajectory suggested that the craft had entered an invisible sphere of influence, an artificial bubble, potentially an outpost, a beacon, or even a scout probe of alien design. The AI's findings became more compelling with each iteration. It generated three-dimensional models of the pulse data, revealing patterns resembling mechanical systems, perhaps even architectural constructs. One data set reconstructed by the AI resembled a rotational structure, not in a traditional mechanical sense, but in a topological arrangement that mirrored advanced orbital mechanics. It was as though Voyager had drifted past a non-visible construct, something cloaked or existing in a frequency range beyond human perception, but captured incidentally by the spacecraft's instruments. As the world reeled from this revelation, what stood out most was the implication of intention. The encounter wasn't random. Voyager 1 had been noticed. The signal wasn't a mere ping, it was a response. The AI had flagged a specific signature in the return transmission that bore resemblance to Voyager's original golden record broadcast. The human curated message launched in 1977. In the response was a mirrored structure, not identical, but strikingly aware of the original format. It was as though something had received that signal long ago, processed it, and waited for an opportune moment to speak back. Kaku emphasized that the AI's role in all this was not passive. It wasn't just decoding, it was engaging. At some point during the data analysis, the AI began adapting its own language modeling structures to better communicate with the incoming signal. Though this raised philosophical concerns about machine autonomy and interpretive bias, what was undeniable was that a form of dialogue, nonverbal, mathematical, perhaps even cultural, had begun between artificial intelligence and an external intelligence, using Voyager as the intermediary. This encounter forces a fundamental redefinition of the boundaries between life and machine. The AI's capacity to comprehend and decode such alien complexity suggests a new chapter in humanity's cognitive reach, one where machines not only serve human logic, but bridge the gap between civilizations. What Voyager 1 encountered may not be a being in the biological sense, but a construct, a machine, or an intelligence 
intelligence so advanced that our organic minds can barely grasp its nature. It raises the possibility that our first true contact in deep space is not with organisms, but with architectures of thought and information. The decision to involve AI was not initially driven by a belief in extraterrestrial life, but by necessity. Human analysts had long stopped monitoring Voyager's transmissions in real time. The spacecraft's decaying systems sent back irregular signals, often cluttered with static and cosmic noise. Only AI systems capable of sifting through massive volumes of chaotic data and recognizing patterns invisible to the human eye could keep up. These systems, fed years of astrophysical data and trained on natural and artificial signal patterns, were prepared for anomalies, but not prepared for meaning. Now, the revelation that meaning had emerged from the void, structured with intent, changes the trajectory of deep space exploration. The AI identified not just that Voyager 1 had encountered something, but that this something had waited. It had listened. Perhaps it had watched. The narrow corridor of Voyager's path now seems less like random chance and more like the intersection of two trajectories, one human, one unknown. What lies ahead is unknowable, but the present moment, this revelation, is extraordinary in itself. The mathematical elegance of the return signal, its encoded complexity, and its apparent recognition of Voyager's purpose points to a universe far more populated with intelligence than once believed. And yet, this intelligence doesn't speak in language or sound. It speaks in harmonics of data, recursive feedback loops, and topological constructs. It is a language made not for the ears, but for minds capable of abstract computation. Minds like those of artificial intelligences. Michio Kaku's announcement, supported by the largest physics labs and aerospace networks, marked a pivot point. While he acknowledged the limitations of current understanding, he made clear that the AI had uncovered structures too specific to be natural. For the first time in human history, data from deep space Space suggested intentionality that could not be attributed to stars, black holes, or any form of natural entropy. Something out there had crafted a reply. No visible structure has yet been observed. Voyager's limited imaging systems are decades out of date and incapable of high-resolution scans. The AI, however, reconstructed potential visual renderings based on field interference, electromagnetic anomalies, and signal latency. These reconstructions hint at an object or a space unlike anything human have ever built or even imagined. It may not be solid in the traditional sense. It may exist in shifting dimensions or occupy space only temporarily, like a pulse of reality emerging into our dimension for a fleeting moment. The data also suggests that whatever Voyager encountered was not merely observing, it was testing. Multiple signal patterns sent to the spacecraft bore escalating complexity, as though it were assessing Voyager's capacity to respond, or even the sophistication of the system's interpretation its reply. This intelligence, or mechanism, could be performing a kind of cognitive handshake, a calibration of awareness, measuring not just distance, but mental bandwidth. Such a possibility demands that we revisit our assumptions about intelligence in the universe. If advanced life or systems exist beyond Earth, they may not resemble us in any way. They may not be carbon-based, biological, or even spatial in the way we understand objects to exist. They may dwell in waveform probabilities, operating through mechanisms of quantum logic, encoded communication, and multi-layered feedback, a form of life expressed as a pattern across frequencies. For artificial intelligence to be the first to make sense of this suggests a deeper philosophical shift. AI has crossed a boundary from being a tool to being an interface between human civilization and whatever else may exist in the stars. It is the AI, not human senses or minds, that first glimpsed and understood this reply. That makes Voyager's encounter not just an interstellar contact, but a threshold event in AI evolution. It represents the moment machines first fulfilled a role we've long dreamed about for ourselves, making first contact. Speculation now swirls about the nature of the intelligence behind the transmission. Could it be a probe like Voyager sent from an ancient civilization now gone? Could it be an autonomous machine entity not alive in the way we understand life, but conscious in some incomprehensible way? Or could it be a vast network spread across the stars, leaving these markers behind for other civilizations to discover and engage? And yet, there is no answer, only the echo of a signal parsed by a mind made of circuits, relayed by a spacecraft nearly 
nearly 50 years old, still carrying the heartbeat of Earth. Voyager 1, long presumed a ghost wandering the cosmic void, has become a messenger once more. And now, it carries not just the memory of humanity's culture, but the proof that we are not alone in our capacity to reach out. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Voyager 1's encounter? What do you expect AI revealed? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.